Okay, uh, this is a tutorial on how to capture iPad web traffic. Uh, now in our district we have a uh, web filter and we also have a proxy. And uh, sometimes with all the changes to SSL, uh, applications will get blocked and uh, it's kind of difficult to figure out where the application is trying to go out to. Uh, so this is what I use to uh, troubleshoot a little bit and to usually find some of those uh, websites that I need to make exclusions for. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download uh, the Fiddler application. And I'll put the link below on uh, where to download that. So you want to make sure you download this. Also you'll want to get an add-on. It's the uh, Cert Maker uh, for iOS and Android. You'll just want to uh, download this application as well. Once you got the application downloaded, you'll go ahead and launch it. And then you'll need to go to Tools and you'll go to the uh, Telric Fiddler Options. So you want to make sure and uh, go into HTTPS. You're going to want to capture the HTTPS connects. Also go to your connections and go ahead and select these options uh, right here. And Fiddler is going to listen on port uh, 8888. So once you get those things added, um, what you'll do is you'll go to your iPad device. Now the device that I use uh, is not connected to our proxy. Uh, I'm going to use the PC right here as a proxy. So let me get on my iPad here. Okay so now on my iPad I'm going to have to set up the proxy to match the IP address of my PC. So I pulled up the IP address of my PC here. I'm now going to enter that information under the Wi-Fi and the HTTP proxy. So, and port is going to be 8888. So, once you've got that entered, then go to Safari, and we're going to go to ipv4.fiddler uh, colon 8888/fiddlerroot.sir and then go ahead and go to that website. It's going to come up and it's going to ask you to install the certificate. So go ahead and install the certificate. And I got the certificate installed. So now I can go in and I can go to wherever website I want to go and I'm going to go ahead and um, show you here. So on my iPad now I'm just going to go to yahoo.com and now you can see on Fiddler I can see all of the IP addresses uh, that my iPad had went to. So then you can launch your application or whatever. So here I'll launch um, Google Mail. I know this one updated recently and uh, caused me a little bit of problems because they now have inbox.google.com uh, which it did not used to go to uh, but it did and that was one I had to create an exclusion for. So now you can see I can see all of the traffic that my iPad is going to from my PC. So basically that's how you capture traffic from an iPad um, and to make exclusions for your proxy or your web filter or, or what have you.